correspond with Ovarian Cancer Awareness Month, two events are being offered during Hope Week this year that help raise awareness about the disease. Here to talk about ovarian cancer and the events taking place this year are some people from the NEA Baptist Charitable Foundation. Hi, I'm Shanna French with Ritter Communications. I'm Robbie Johnson with NEA Baptist Charitable Foundation. I'm Tracy Cole with Till Toes Salons in Jonesboro. So we're here today to talk to you about Till Toes for Men. Shanna, you want to talk a little bit about ovarian cancer and what Till Toes represents? Ovarian cancer is one of those types of cancer that we just don't talk about very much. It has those kinds of symptoms that really what they say is it whispers so you need to listen. The, the symptoms of ovarian cancer are the symptoms that you may have anyway. So it may be back pain, it could be bloating, it could be that you feel full quickly after you eat. So with ovarian cancer, if it's something that doesn't feel normal to you, you need to talk to your doctor. So that's why we wanted to talk about ovarian cancer today because it's something that unless you really listen closely to your body, you may not know that it's something that you could have. Mm -hmm. You know, the exciting things as far as ovarian cancer is at least the percentage of people, the ladies being diagnosed is, has fallen over the last 20 years. I mean, typically it affects a woman who's 63 years of age or older. Um, it affects about, what, 14,000 women a year. Um, <clears throat> The mortality rate is typically one out of every 100 women would die from ovarian cancer. But the exciting thing about Till Toes is help raise awareness not only for ovarian cancer, but also um, raise money to help with ovarian cancer research. And Tracy, you want to talk a little bit about what a Till, Till Toes means and what we do? Okay. Well, I first became involved in Till Toes when I had a client um, years ago that was diagnosed with ovarian cancer and she brought the Till Toes cards in, which are these cards mm -hmm. that we encourage salons to have and pass out and it tells all the symptoms um, of ovarian cancer and um, what you can, you know, there is a blood test that you can have done, um, but you actually have to have ovarian cancer or it won't show up. So there is not a lot of medical testing out there that you can just go and it says, okay, you have ovarian cancer. So they try to um, talk about the symptoms, like Shana was talking about, to get women to um, be more aware of what is going on with their bodies. Because you might have these things like Shana said and you have no idea that that is a symptom of ovarian cancer. When you, when my client brought these in, it is because she had had these symptoms for a long period of time. She also had had um, lung cancer previously and had beat that. And so she didn't know if this was her body messed up from radiation or chemo, but it was actually she had ovarian cancer and they caught it in stage four. Um, so unfortunately, she did not survive, but she encouraged me to hand these out and get these started in salons in Jonesboro. Breast cancer was a big awareness and, and has been and not a lot of people knew about um, the teal ribbon and so she wanted to raise more awareness um, about ovarian cancer. When you polish your toes teal it's you know it's a more a more popular color today than it has been in the past. So it was a riskier color to wear and um, it would bring attention to your feet and people would say, wow, that's kind of a interesting color. And you would say, yes, the reason why I wear teal is to raise awareness of ovarian cancer. Have you heard of the symptoms? And you can start a conversation with somebody and hopefully you can um, help save a life. Well, last year we started we started Teal Toast for Men as an opportunity for men to support the ladies, but also to help raise money for uh, research. And I know last year we um, we had our event, and after I had gotten it done, we had a meeting um, with our patient advisory committee for the New Indiana Baptist Cancer Center. And one of the ladies there, we were talking about the event, and one of the ladies there uh, was an ovarian cancer survivor. And we were talking about the event, and she asked me, "Did you get your toenails painted?" And I said, yes, I did, which my daughter later decorated. But she, she, uh, she looked at me and she thanked me for doing that. And I will never forget that. 
Since then, that lady has passed away from ovarian cancer. And each year when we do this event, I remember her and her thanking me for doing this event. And so we're asking the men to come out. The, our event will be from 11 to 1 at Tracy Salon. You want to give directions a little bit about how to get to your salon? Okay, it's um, 2211 um, Ray Street, and it's across from Sam's in the Rutherford Photography Building. We're inviting men to come out and just get one toenail painted, or if you want to get them all painted, but this is an opportunity for you to support the women mm -hmm. and um, show your support for uh, ending ovarian cancer. The, the thing about a lot of men who are like, there's no way I'm getting my toes polished, Teal. But one day you might have a daughter, mm -hmm. your mother, a grandmother, or a sister, or your wife, sister, or mother. In, in some way your life might be affected, and then you will, you know, well, I should have shown my support for that. So it is, you know, nail polish, toenail polish but it is for a good cause and so um, if you can just show your support and help raise awareness we would appreciate it. One of the other things that we're doing is the Teal Talk which is September the 25th from 11:30 to 1. It's a, it's a free luncheon. First Security Bank, a Teal Bank, is um, one of the sponsors of the NEA Baptist and Dr. Kumar, an oncologist out of Memphis, is coming over to speak and it's absolutely free. You do need tickets just so that we, because we do have a limited seating, you can call the NEA Baptist Clinic corporate offices and ask to speak to Casey. That number is 870-935-4150, 935-4150. Or you can email me, Robbie, R-O-B-B-I-E dot Johnson at neabaptistclinic.com and I can get you information as well as tickets. But like I said, it's absolutely free luncheon. <laughs> Tracy, you said it was very informative last year, some of the, yes, the information. Um, the doctor who's Dr. Chris Bryant. Dr. Chris Bryant spoke last year um, and he actually did an interactive test mm -hmm. when he would discuss symptoms of ovarian cancer and then he had the audience participate in answering questions. And so there were a lot of things that we thought were associated or symptoms that you might have mm -hmm. that weren't actually true. And so it was very, very informative. Mm -hmm. Well, we're really, really excited this year. Um, like I said, Dr. Kumar is going to be speaking. Um, it's an absolutely free event to the community. Um, you do need tickets just because of limited seating. But it's a Teal Talk at Southwest Church of Christ um, on September the 25th. That's a Wednesday from 1130 to 1. The Teal Toes for Men event is being held Thursday, September 26th at Element Salon on 2211 Ray Street from 11 to 1. The Till Talk event will be held at Southwest Church of Christ from 11.30 to 1 on Wednesday, September 25th. For more information, you may call 870-935-4150 or email Robbie Johnson at Robbie, R-O-B-B-I-E, dot Johnson at naabaptistclinic.com.